Dear students, in this lecture, we will see how to handle categorical variable in a regression analysis. Whenever we do any regression analysis, the assumption is the nature of independent and dependent variable has to be a continuous variable. Sometime what will happen? We have to include the uh, categorical variable into independent variable category. How to handle that kind of regression analysis that we will see in this class. The agenda of this lecture is to show how categorical variable are handled in regression analysis, illustrate and we will interpret how to do the categorical independent regression analysis. The same problem we will do in python, we will explain how to code and how to do this categorical regression in python programming. The another name for categorical variable is called dummy variable. Dummy variable also called indicator variable, it allows us to include categorical nature in regression analysis. For example, gender is one of a categorical data, so, where there is only two levels are possible, male or female. A dummy variable can take only two values when it is in gender category. For example, 0 means absence of category and 1 means the presence of category. So, the here the 0 will be taken as the reference. With respect to 0, we will compare what will happen to another level of that categorical variable. We will take one problem. With the help of problem, I will explain how to use categorical variable into the regression analysis and how to interpret it. This problem is taken from statistics for business and economics from David Anderson, Sweeney and Williams. It is a Sankage publication in 2003, uh, 2013 edition. So, Johnson filtration incorporation provides maintenance service for water filtration systems. Customers contact Johnson's with a request for maintenance service on their water filtration system. To estimate the service time and the service cost, Johnson's managers want to predict the repair time necessary for each maintenance request. Hence, the repair time in hours is the dependent variable. Repair time is believed to be related to two factors. One factor is number of months since the last maintenance service was done. Second factor is the type of repair problem. Here the type of repair problem mechanical or electrical is the categorical variable. This is the given data. What is there? The column 1 is the service call. The column 2 says months since the last service was done in terms of month. Column 3 says the type of repair whether it is the repair is um, with respect to electrical system or a mechanical system. And the last column is repair time in hours. How much time it is taken for doing the repairing? I have taken the screenshot of our python code here. So, we have to import necessary uh, libraries like import pandas as pd, import matplotlib as mpl, import statsmodel.formula.ap as sm, from sklearn.linear underscore model import linear regression, from scipy import stats, import cborn as sns, import numpy as np, import matplotlib.pyplot as plt import statsmodel.api as yes. First, we will load this regression file that is a, the data file where I have saved a, in the name of dummy.xlsx that we are going to save a, in an object called tb1. When you execute this one, you can see this is the data file. At the end of the class, I am going to give the demo for this whatever the code which I have done it. There you also you can understand every steps. Here, this is the data, we have displayed the data. First, we will do the scatter plot between the months uh, since last service and repair time in hours. When you look at this scatter plot, you see that there seems to be positive trend because when the uh, months since last service is more, the repair time in hours also getting more. This is a simple linear regression considering only one independent variable. Here independent variable is continuous variable. When you do the regression analysis, this is the output of python. So, from statsmodel.formula.api import OILS, OILS is used for doing regression analysis. Here the dependent variables is repair underscore time in hours tilde sign, independent variables months since last service. When you look at this, see this y intercept, I can write y equal to 2.1473 plus 0 0.3041 thus is the independent variable is months since the last service was done. Look at the r square, 
R square is a 53.4 percentage. Look at the p value of this independent variable. Here it is significant because it is less than 0 0.05. Now, what we are going to do residual plots for this problem. When you look at this, this 2.15 plus 0 0.304 x1 is our regression model. When you do the normal probability plot, look at this, it has to you know all the points has to align with this red point. What is happening there? There are so many points it is away from the red line. So, we can say that even if the, the residual plot is not appropriate. So, the data the error is not following normal distribution. First we will create a dummy variable for the categorical data. How to create a dummy variable for this categorical data? So, the new dummy variable I am going to call it as just underscore dummies equal to pd dot get underscore dummies where the file name which column has to be converted to dummy. So, the type of repair that is the value where we have written whether the problem is related to mechanical or electrical. So, when you display the just dummies you see that that one variable is you know it has taken to two part one is for electrical. So, the presence of one says electrical the absence of one says mechanical ok. There are two column is there which is the dummy variable. So, what happened both are same whether we can use this variable into our new regression model or this variable for our new regression model. When you take uh, electrical equal to 1, so the equation will be written uh, y equal to a plus b 1 x 1 plus b 2 x 2. Here x 1 is independent variable, the b 2 value will be 1 if it is uh, suppose we write if the problem the this is the common regression equation. In this regression equation when you substitute x 2 equal to 1 that equation for electrical problem related to electrical repair a plus b 1 x 1 plus b 2 1. This equation for repair due to electrical problem instead of this y equal to a plus b 1 x 1 plus b 2 0 this is for problem related to mechanical. You can reverse also no problem mechanical can be taken as 1 and electrical can be taken as 0 there would not be problem in the interpretation. This was the data which we have converted into dummy variable month since last service see 1 represents problem related to electrical 0 represents problem related to mechanical this was our y is our dependent variable. When you do the regression analysis see that just underscore dummies dot pd dot get underscore dummies T b 1 is a type of repair. So, here what I have done I have displayed I have dropped certain columns what column I have dropped I have dropped the column that is type of repair then I have added only dummy variable with respect to the electrical repair that is why this column has come. Now, this is going to this the last column that is under electrical heading is going to be taken as an independent variable let us do the regression analysis. Result equal to S m dot Y L S step underscore 1 repair underscore time underscore hours is taken as the dependent variable months underscore since underscore last underscore service taken one independent variable. So, this electrical is taken as the reference because that column where 1 means electrical repair 0 means mechanical repair. When you look at this you see this equations can be written Y equal to 0. 9305 plus months since last underscore service. So, coefficient for this one is 0 0.3876 plus electrical 1.1 so, look at r square it is 0.85 previously the r square was when there is only one independent variable I am going back previously r square is only for 0 0.534 when we introduce another variable what has happened the r square is increased to 0 0.589. So, the f statistics and corresponding probability the p value is very low less than 0 0.05. So, as a whole this regression model is significant. 
then look at the individual independent variable. For example, months underscore since that is of independent variable 1, the p value is less than 0 0.01. So, we can say this variable is significant. Similarly, for the second one, the type of repair where electrical is taken as the reference, this is also less than 0 0.05. So, this also a significant variable. Now, this is the regression equation y hat equal to 0 0.93 plus 0 0.388 x1 plus 1.26 x2. If x2 equal to 1 means electrical, if I say x2 equal to 1, it is related to problem related to electrical. If x t equal to 0, it is related to mechanical. The most important part that is interpreting the parameters. We know the expected value of y equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 plus beta 2 x 2. When you substitute x 1 equal to 1, when you substitute this x 2 equal to 0, that equations for mechanical problem related to mechanical. So, beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 beta 2 0 equal to, so this term will become will not be there beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1. When substitute this x 2 equal to 1 that equations for the problem related to electrical. So, E expected value of y electrical equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1. So, beta 2 1 what is happening? So, beta 0 beta 2 can be grouped that this will be beta 1 x 1. See both the equations are same, both the equations having the same slope beta 1 only it differs by this extra value in our y intercept how much with beta 2. Comparing equations 1 and 2, we see that the mean repair time is linear function of x 1 for both mechanical and electrical repairs. The slope of both equation is beta 1, but the y intercept differs. The y intercept is beta 0 in equation 1 for mechanical repairs and beta 0 plus beta 2 in equation 2 for electrical repairs. The interpretation of beta 2 is that it indicates that the difference between the mean repair time of electrical repair and the mean repair time of mechanical repair. So, the time differs by with this unit of this beta 2. If beta 2 is positive, the mean repair time for an electrical repair will be greater than that of the mechanical repair. In our problem, it is beta 2 is positive. If the beta 2 is negative, the mean repair time for an electrical repair will be less than that of mechanical repair. If finally, if beta 2 equal to 0, there is no difference in the mean repair time between electrical and mechanical repairs and the type of repair is not related to repair time. This is most important because after doing a dummy variable regression, you have to interpret it. The interpretation is this way. First thing is we have to look at what is the sign of this beta 2 beta 2 is positive or negative. Then if the in case the beta 2 is 0, we can say the type of the time taken to repair that filter is nothing to, nothing to do with the type of problem it has occurred, whether it is problems related to mechanical repair or problem related to electrical repair. In effect, the use of dummy variable for type of repair provides two estimated regression equation that can be used to predict the repair time one corresponding to mechanical repair and another corresponding to electrical repairs. In addition, this beta 2 1.26, where we are getting this 1.26 and going back this 1.26. This 1.26, we learn that the average electrical repairs require 1.26 longer than the mechanical repairs because for electrical repairs you have taken x 1 equal to 1. For mechanical repair, we have taken x 1 equal to 0. So, the electrical repair is taken as the reference. What is the meaning that is that the 1.26 time units the electrical repair is taking longer time than mechanical repairs. Look at this picture. The green one is for mechanical repair when substitute x 2 equal to 0. Here the blue one is for electrical repair where x 2 equal to 1. Look at this one 2.19 this is 0.19. Both the slope are same because this slope is 0.388 for this, this equation this equation only the intercept is diverse. So, what is the logic is that a, here we have seen only two levels, sometime there may be more than two levels. 
So, the number of a categorical variable with the k levels must have been modeled using k minus 1 dummy variable. What happened previously there was a 2 level, so you have taken only 1 dummy variable x2. If there are 3 levels, we have to take 3 minus 1 that is a 2 dummy variable. Care must be taken in defining and interpreting the dummy variable. So, what is the care here is what value we have assigned equal to 1. For example, electrical repair we have taken equal to 1 that equation is interpreted with respect to when x2 equal to 1. We will go for another problem. This problem is taken from statistics for management from Levin and Rubin. The manager of a small sales force wants to know whether the average monthly salary is different for males and females in a sales force. He obtained a data on monthly salary and experience for each of 9 employees as shown in the next slides. Look at this, this is the there are 9 employees, their salary, there is gender, there is experience. Now, what we are going to do in this example, what is the salary of the females even though they have equal experience with the male, whether females are discriminated or not. When we can say they, they are getting discriminated, even though they have equal experience with the male, if they are getting lesser salary that means the females are discriminated. First we will import the data, here I have imported in the object called tbl2 underscore pd dot read underscore excel. The excel data where I have stored this problem is in the file name called dummy2. So, when I show this, look at this, this is the employee, this is the salary, gender and experience. Next what we are going to do? We are going to find out the scatter plot or is there any trend between the experience and the salary. It seems to be there is a positive trend, but look at the residual plot. Yeah, what is this equation? Y equal to, you see R square is 0.926 see the experience is the independent variable, here experience is the because the p value is less than 0 0.05, we can say it is significant value. So, we can write y equal to 5.8 plus 0 0.2332 experience, this is our regression equation. Okay. Now, let us do the residual plot for this, we will do the error analysis. When you do the residual analysis, you see that most of the points, suppose this is taken as the reference point, this is a standardized residual. Most of the points are, it should be randomly, it has to be distributed. Most of the points are above this, where there is a 0 line. That means, there is a problem in assumptions. Otherwise, there may be some other variable that may affect the salary apart from experience. Look at the, see that quantile plot. You see that here also, most of the points are above the point. It has to sit on this red line, but it is not sitting on the red line that there is a problem in the assumption of that equal variance. That means, error is not following equal variance. Now, what we have done in this one? Categorical data is included in the regression analysis by using dummy variable. Here, what you have done? Uh, 0 for males and 1 for females. What is taken? We can 0 also reference or 1 also reference. So, 1 for male female is taken as the reference in our data, so that a multiple regression model can be developed, we will do that one. From the given data, I have converted into dummy variable, one dummy variable for female, because there are two level, female and male. So, male is taken as 1, female is taken as 0. The coding is that 0 is taken as male, 1 is taken female. So, in this we are going to take this column for our further analysis. So, how to interpret this? 0 means female, 1 means male. In creating a dummy variable for gender, we are going to follow this notation x2 equal to 0 means males, x2 equal to 1 is taken as the females. So, after creating dummy variable, first how to create a dummy variable in python, just underscore dummies 2 that is the variable which I have given, pd dot get underscore dummies, this was the command for making dummy variable. So, we are going to take female column for further analysis. So, 0 means male, 1 means female. This was our uh, python output for that regression analysis. When you look at this, r square is 0 0.107 
but look at here first I will write the regression equation y equal to 9.7 minus 1.1750 x1. So, how to interpret this result? You see that in the x1 is not the significant value here, it is not significant. At the at the sample data level, what is the meaning of x1 I have written? You see, look at this. If you write x2 equal to 1 here, x1 equal to 1, this is not x2, this is x1. When you substitute x1 equal to 1, this one, this coefficient says it is negative. What is the meaning of this negative is, is female is getting lesser salary when compared to male by this much unit because it is a negative sign, we will go for interpretation. The value of the intercept is 9.7, the average salary for males as we coded gender 1 for female, okay, gender 1 is for female and 0 for males. So, the value of the slope is minus 1.175 tells us that the average salary is lower than the average male salary by 1.175. What is the meaning is, is females are getting a 1.175 unit, they are getting lesser salary when compared to male. If it is a positive, then we can interpret that when compared to male, females are getting more salary. Because it is a negative, we are saying that when compared to male, females are getting lesser salary. Now, what we are going to do? We are going to introduce the previously we, did, we consider only gender that is a female is taken as the reference. Now, we are going to introduce the experience also. When you introduce the experience also, now the regression equation is y equal to 6.2485 plus 0 0.2271 experience minus 0 0.7890 female. Now, look at the p value, this p value is now less than 0 0.05. Now, here the gender is a significant variable. In our previous slide, when you go back, in this slide, you see that the p value is not significant. So, we cannot say there is a gender discrimination. We can write a regression equation with the help of sample data, but at the population level, there is no connection between gender and their salary because the relation between x1 that is their gender and the salary there is no relationship. That means here the both female and male are getting same salary. But when we introduce our experience was one of the variable, now the gender also is significant. So, by considering experience and the gender, now gender also one of the significant variable because here the p value is less than 0.05. Look at the f value, the f value is very very low, the probability value also very low as a whole model this model is significant. Individually also all the variables are significant. What would have happened if we used 0 for females and 1 for males in our data? Would our result be any different? Right? So, for that purpose, we have done some modification here. For example, gender female, it is just reversed. You see that the, there is a difference in intercept, but the slope is same, but the slope sign is different. So, what is the meaning here? The males, right, because the male is taken as 1, the males are getting 1.175 unit of higher salary when compared to females. So, what happened? Is there any difference in result? Not really. With the coding as above, the intercept changed to 8.525, you see that 8.525. The slope of the gender would still 1.175, but it would have a positive sign reflecting that the average male salary is higher than average female salary by 1.175. So, predicted salaries from the model for males and females would not change no matter how the dummy variable is coded. Sometime what will happen? There may be more than one dummy variable. How that in our problem, we have only two levels. Sometime there are three levels, we should have two dummy variable. We will see that example. For gender, we had only two categories, female and male. Thus, we used a single dummy variable, 0, 1 variable for this. 
when there are more than two categories the number of dummy variables that should be used equals the number of categories minus 1. So, the number of dummy variable is number of levels minus 1. You see that there is a one example where the job grade is there are 3 level 1, 2, 3. In this example the categorical variable job grade has 3 level. So, 1, 2, 3, 1 means lowest grade, 2 means medium and 3 means highest grade. We are going to have 3 levels in our categorical data, 3 levels are level 1, level 2, level 3. If there are 3 levels we are going to have only 2 dummy variable. Job 1 is taken as say 1 comma 0, job 2 is 0 comma 1, job 3 is 0 0. So, now we can say this 0 0 is taken as the reference. Okay. So, the presence of 1 0 will explain category 1, 0 1 will explain category 2, 0 0 will explain category 3. So, here what is happening there are 3 levels, but we are going to have only 2 dummy variable, dummy variable 1 and dummy variable 2. Now, this is a new data set, now this data set can be used for, for doing dummy variable regression, the interpretation is already I have explained to you. Now, we will go for demo of this code which I have shown in our this presentation. I have prepared already code for that, first I am going to remove this output by clicking kernel, restart and clear output, I have cleared the output, now I am going to run this one. So, as you know this is shift enter, so again shift enter this is the data, this data shows service call month since last service, type of repair and repair time. Next we will go for scatter plot. This scatter plot shows that there is a correlation between months since last service and repair time in hours. Next we will go for simple linear regression, where we have taken only one independent variable. When you look at this, uh, here this is y equal to 2.14 plus 0.3041 x1. Suppose if you say months underscore uh, this variable is x1. Look at the p value, this p value is less than 0 0.05. So, this variable is significant variable, r square also is good, it is above 0.5. See when there is f statistic, this is also less than 0 0.05. So, as a whole model, it is valid. Now, we will plot uh, standardized residual plot. So, when you look at the standardized residual plot, this is the pattern, see it is, uh, there are some points which are going above minus 2. How to interpret the standardized residual plot? All the points should be between minus 2 to plus 2, but it seems that there are some variable which goes beyond minus 2. So, it is violating our model assumptions. Now, we will go for q plot. This also you see that there seems to be some pattern continuously 3 lines are below this line, there are so many points are above this line, there are also problem in variance of the error variable also. Now, we will convert the data into dummy variable, uh, this is a dummy variable electrical is taken as 1, mechanical is taken as 0. Now, after converting into dummy variable, we are going to drop that column dummy variable belongs to mechanical. After dropping, we can see this is the output. You look at this. Now, there is no mechanical column, only electrical column is there. Now, we will do for this data set, we will go for regression analysis. There are two independent variable, one is months underscore since last service, another one is type of repair that electrical is taken as the reference. You look at the p value, the p values are both independent variable is less than 0 0.05. So, it is a significant model. Um, in this equation when you substitute uh, x 2 equal to 1, you will get a regression equation for problem related to electrical. If when you substitute uh, x 2 equal to 0, you will get a regression equation for problem related to mechanical repairing system. Now, we will go for another problem. This was our second problem, where the salary is the dependent variable, experience is independent variable, gender also independent variable. When we plot that between experience and salary, there is a positive relationship. 
Now, we will take salary and experience as experience is an independent variable. You see that uh, experience is the significant because less than 0 0.00, R square is 0 0.26, there is no problem in this. Now, you will look at the standardized residual plot. You see that most of the points, there is it is not equally plotted, most of the points above 0, there is no randomness in the, there seems to be some pattern in the residuals. We will go for checking the normality of the variance error term. You see that it is, is this also following some kind of a pattern and it is also not sitting on the exactly in the diagonal line. Now, we will go for create a dummy variable for the gender. There are one is for female, another one is male. Now, we will we'll drop this one. So, female is taken as 1, male is taken as 0 when you do the, now this is the regression analysis where gender is taken as a female. Now, you see that y equal to 9.7 plus minus 1.175 female. So, females are getting lesser salary than the male, but look at the p value. When you consider only the gender, the p value is more than 0 0.05. So, this gender variable is not significant. When you, when you bring another variable as an experience, when you look at our previous code, it is only gender is taken. Gender also, see it is not significant because the p value is 0 0.389. Now, we will take gender and experience together, let us see what is happening. So, when you take gender and experience together, you see that the p value for female is less than 0 0.05 the experience also less than 0 0.05, uh, both the variables are significant, but the female is getting lesser salary when compared to male, even though they have equal experience. Now, what will happen when you reverse the code? Suppose, we have taken female equal to 1, male equal to 0. Now, what will happen when you reverse that code? So, male equal to 1 and female equal to 0. So, what will happen? There would not be any changes in the result only the sign of previously male is taken that was minus 1.17. Now, female is taken as the reference. So, we are getting only a positive value of 1.17. Only there is a difference in the y intercept. Otherwise, all interpretations are same. In this lecture, we have seen dummy variable regression. I have taken two problem with the help of Python code. I have explained how to do a dummy variable regression and also I have interpreted the result. We know what is the dummy variable regression. Sometime the gender is one example for dummy variable regression because there are two possibility male and female. Similarly, the job category, category 1, category 2, category 3, these are the dummy variable. For this purpose, we have learned how to do a regression analysis. The next class, very important topic that is uh, logistic regression. We are going to see that one. Before seeing logistic regression, there is a one principle called maximum likelihood principle. I will explain what is maximum likelihood principle with the help of some examples. Then we will go for logistic regression in the next class. Thank you very much.